New York's classic rock, Q1043. We are pleased to welcome Ryan Mara, New York Red Bulls goalkeeper, to our show. Good morning. How are you? Hey, guys. How's everything? Thanks for having me on. Oh, well, it's our pleasure because the home opener is this Sunday, and uh, you'll be taking on uh, Minnesota United at 7 p.m. at Red Bull Arena, but you're undefeated so far. Yeah, we've had a great start to this season. We have two two tough uh, road wins, um, and, and we're excited about the season. We got a good, young, energetic team, and we're hoping we can carry this momentum into the home opener Sunday night. Well, this is your 10th year with the team, right? Uh, 11th, actually. Well, well yeah, wow. going. I mean, you've, you're complete because you went in in 2012, right? 2022. So you're going into the 11th, 11th year, and you're a, a hometown guy. New York, born and bred. You're from Yonkers, right? Yes, Yonkers, New York. And uh, and you you were and you are a Fordham Ram. Yep, Fordham Prep and Fordham University. So I'm I'm pretty local. Yeah, you can't get more local than that. And uh, you come from an FDNY family. Yeah, my dad's got uh, 40 years as a lieutenant in the Bronx, uh, engine 46, and my uncle's a uh, chief in Midtown. Oh, that's so awesome. And it gets even more wildly exciting than that. Your great grandfather was a member of the New York Yankees. Yeah, he played a few games, I think, in like 1915 or something over 100 years ago, even before Babe Ruth. Uh, yeah, he got a, a couple games in the Yankee pinstripes. Yeah, well, that's all, all you all you need is, you know, one one appearance in the Yankee pinstripe uniform and and you're a Yankee. Forever and ever and ever. So you come from a uh, a New York sports family as well with a Yankee background and playing for Fordham University and then uh, the New York Red Bulls during a period where they have exploded in popularity. Yeah, it's so cool to see now going into my 11th year to see where uh, the Red Bulls and also the league, the MLS, how far it's come in, in you know this past decade. And soccer in America is becoming a huge uh, part of the everyday culture and you know we got the world cup coming in 2026 and and we think it's going to keep exploding and you know uh to see the fans and the support we get at red bull arena every home game is incredible um and we're hoping that this season now that hopefully the pandemic is behind us we'll really get that support back because it's so important to us and, and our success throughout the season it's uh, ryan mara red bull's goalkeeper who is with us shelly told me oh 20 years ago that soccer was eventually going to become a very popular major sport in the United States. And quite frankly, I didn't, I didn't believe her because I didn't see any evidence of it, but she was right. And it's, I mean, you know, you know how you go to, you go to bars and you'd go to bars and you'd see a football game on, or you'd see a, you know, hockey or basketball or baseball. Well, now it's really common to go in and see soccer matches on the big TVs. You know, Ryan, I'm a soccer mom, so I had all three of my kids playing soccer and the traveling soccer. And that's how I knew that soccer was going to blow up because these are kids that grew up playing. And of course, they were going to be fans. How old were you when you first started with soccer? Um, I mean, I think like every kid I got thrown into soccer at probably five years old, but I played every other sport, too. Um, but there was something about soccer that just I really took to. I, I don't know, maybe it's because I was decent at it. That, that obviously helps. But uh, just the free flowing nature of the game. It's for us, it's 90 minutes. There's no timeouts, uh, quick halftime. Uh, and then you're back on the field. There's no commercials for the fans. So I think, uh, you know, people are really starting to take to it. It's a fast game, unlike baseball. Oh, stop it, <laughs> Shelly. Stop it. <laughs> Shelly hates baseball. But I'm glad the season's on. You know, one of the things that impresses me, and I know that this, you know, this to a to a real soccer fan, I will just sound like a complete idiot. Um, but it impresses me how much space a goalkeeper in soccer has to cover. Yeah, no, it definitely helps being tall. Um, it's funny when you're having a good game, you feel huge and the goal feels small. And then when you're having a not so good game, you feel so tiny in goal and you feel like you can't get to anything. But, uh, 
but yeah, hopefully, usually if you have a good defense in front of you, they can, uh, you know, stop a lot of chances before they even get all the way back to you. Well, I mean, you have to make like these fraction of a second decisions on where to go with your body and, and what to do. I mean, it's, it's, you know, in the blink of an eye. Isn't it instinctive, Ryan, for you? Can you feel it? Yeah, I think so. You know, when you've been doing it long enough, you kind of can see things a little before they happen. Um, and we train like, we train like crazy, you know, our season's about 10 months out of the year. Um, and you know, it's like anything else, the more you do it, the more practice you have, it just becomes second nature. So how much do you love Ted Lasso? You know, it's funny. I've never seen it. Oh God, you gotta watch it. It is, it is a, not only a soccer oriented show, about, but it's funny and it's feel good. It is the feel good show on TV, but you would love it. I guess you don't have time. No, I got time. I don't know. It's funny. Everyone, everyone uh, who asked me that has the exact same reaction as you did. They think I'm crazy being, being so involved with soccer and not having watched it, but that's on the list. I'll get to that soon. Okay. Ryan Mara is with us. So Red Bull arena, when it gets packed, that uh, bond that you have with the uh, with the crowd must, I don't know, be something that you can feel physically. Oh, absolutely. You know, the, when the fans get behind you, um, you know, they, they definitely give you that extra little boost. You know, when, when the when the game is winding down and the guys might be getting a little tired, um, you know, you owe it to the fans to, to, to play the full 90 minutes. And uh, it's for my, for my money. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but it's it's the best soccer stadium in the country. And I mean, I, I think we have uh, four tickets if you guys are interested in coming Sunday night. Four tickets for Q104.3 listeners. Ooh, yes. Nice. Yes. Um, four. That's very generous of you. Thank you, Ryan. OK, let's give the uh, 25th caller a Q104 pack of tickets for opening night Sunday. That's this Sunday. So don't call us unless you can make it Sunday night at seven o'clock. OK, because this is. This is exciting stuff at Red Bull Arena. So 888-872-1043. Uh, when you are on the road, what's your favorite city to play in? Ooh, I think it'd it have to be Atlanta. They have Why? an unbelievable, unbelievable fan base. They play in the Falcons uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Uh -huh. um, and they pack it. They get about 60, 70,000. Uh, it's unbelievable atmosphere to play in. We have a bit of a rivalry the last couple of years. We met them in the playoffs uh, two or three years ago. So it's a little bad blood. So it's always a fun game. I think they don't like us. We don't like them. Um, so we well, enjoy that. Okay. Well, <laughs> Ryan, thank you so much for getting up early to speak with us. Minnesota United at New York Red Bulls Sunday. Oh, it's the opener. 7 p.m. is kickoff. Red Bull Arena. Uh, good luck to you. And thank you so, so much for joining us this morning here at Q104.3. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. Okay, 14 oh. after 7 o'clock. Oh. oh, you can make it last longer than that, can't you? I, I probably, all right. Go! That was very impressive. Thank you. That was good. 7.15 <laughs> now here at Q104.3. New York's classic rock. Q104.3.